Hey there, I'm Brad. I'm doing some Pokemon TCG versus mode. So I'm going to be using either my X and Y deck or my Charizard deck. So I'm going to just decide to go with my X and Y deck. And once we get into the match, I'll tell you who the opponent is and what typing they have. So Akayami with a Water Dragon deck. And I'm using a Fairy Dark. So I'll call heads, see what it does. Luck of the draw says. I get to go first, so we'll see my hand. I'm probably going to mulligan. No. My opponent mulligan, though. I can throw Buffalo Land onto the field. Alright. I had no basic bench Pokemon. So he has just a bunch of energy. So I don't know what else he has, but a bunch of energy. So he has an active Pokemon. Which is great. He has a bench Pokemon, two bench Pokemon, three bench Pokemon. Hey, he's got the party. So yeah, I'll draw for his Mulligan. I don't know why I wouldn't. He has Drudagon. So I don't have any break cards in my deck, so he's not going to be doing that extra damage. Um, his third attack, if he has different types of energy on him, then yeah, he's set. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to just get as many cards in my hand. I'm going to burn my uh, skates. So I got a bench Pokemon just to be safe. I got that. Sweet. Another head so I can get another Bufalant. That's pretty sweet. I'll put uh, um, that on my Bufalant that I have there. I'll use a card to get some Fairy Energy because Fairy Energy is way more important right now. Then I can draw three cards. I can use another one of those. So get as much energy. I'll take one dark energy right now. So I'm basically done my turn almost. I can put a another retrieval energy pouch on, but I'd rather not right now. So I'll put energy on, and that'll be my turn. What would have been smart right now is if I did escape rope. Ooh, he has a double energy. So proud, Fang. Ooh. That's a double dragon energy, isn't it? Yeah, oh. He's not going to be happy if I burn that. So I just burn that. So what else can I do this turn? Oh, see, I burn it and I win. What an easy duel. Okay. So clearly he was not happy at all. That is too funny. So I think we have time for another match. Um, first of all, we'll see what I get from this little chest reward. So, yay, chest. Uh, for just discarding a card or card's energy. So there we go. The next uh, set of cards is teammates. Cool. So let's uh, head over to the old uh, collection. <coughs> I'll go to packs, open my uncommon chest. Hopefully I get something rare in the uncommon. Oh, Bufflant, <laughs> my prize card apparently. Uh, discard two special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow, how significant. Showing that, uh, you know, my last match, Bufflant just discarded double special energy and I get Bufflant that specifically does that now. How perfect. That is so magnificent. The game knew. So... Now, though, I'm going to go hop over to Versus and do another battle with this X and Y deck. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen, because that'd be boring now, seeing the same thing twice in a row. But, um, yeah, we have a Water deck. Uh, I didn't really catch his name. I uh, wasn't paying attention to that. And I don't know if anyone really cares if I just, like, call them out <laughs> during my videos, but, uh, oh well. Guest player. He's chilling. I wonder if that's his name. Guest player, because it shows my name. I don't know. So I lost the coin flip, so he gets to choose uh, any meaning money mo. Who gets to go first? And he picks me. Cool. Thank you. So prize card again, Bufflant, and I have enough energy for him all set to go, and I can just switch out one of his opponent's uh, Pokemon, one of my opponent's Pokemon, if he has a bench one. 
I'll use Tierno to see if I can get anything uh, on my bench right away, just so, you know. So I'll chuck my double energy on. Hopefully it doesn't have a dis uh, discard card. So I have two of these bad boys I can play. So yeah, me as well. And yeah, once that's done, uh, it's off to him to see what he does. So all you can do is Icy Snow right now and Pound and Water Drip. He's drawing three cards. <laughs> He's Rocky helmeting his... Okay, so he was just focusing on his fur, okay. And he has rough seas, so we'll heal 30 damage. Seal has 80 health, I can do 60 damage. Um, so it'll take two turns to knock out a seal, because of the healing effect. Unless I, um, this goes straight for the Froakie kill. Which he probably wouldn't be happy that I do. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I take resisted damage anyway. As boot from Boofland. So I literally take... Oh, I guess, yeah, Rocket Helmet still does damage to me. Oh well. So I have Hypnotic Lasers, so that's perfect to just disable him right off the bat. So he has an Oshawott now. Chuck an energy on that. Obviously this seals his best wall in his deck right now. For starter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, uh, yeah, my Pokemon club card. See if I can get, yeah, my Evolta is what I need, and I'll need my Xerneas. So that's perfect. So I can put my Evolta down, and I can put my Xerneas down if I need to. Now I can just start piling energy on Tivalto and eventually win. So I'm gonna overkill him here. So he's poisoned, didn't go to sleep. I'll gold break him though. And then he'll heal uh, on his turn. So he's trying to get that off swat rush. He can hit me for a rain splash, not a waterfall yet. So, yep, he healed, I can knock him out. If I get a Eva Soda, I can evolve my Spitzy, and then just like put the energy onto Evalpo, which would be pretty sweet. So he's very nice, searching for three basic energies and putting them in his hand. So he's just really setting up for the Oshawott, or Dewat now. So my turn, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably let's see what else I can get I'll have Diancy in my hand I just have one of everything so Snorlax if I I don't think I really need a Snorlax right now let's go for another Xerneas Because I'm really lacking the energy right now. So, we'll do this. I'll knock his Pokemon out. Draw a card. Another Boof Lamp. Pretty sweet. Sweet kicks. <coughs> so, he has 3 energy. He can hit me with Waterfall now, but it'll do 20 less damage. And I have a heal. Uh, now he can hit me for a pike. So it's 30 damage, 20 your opponent's bench Pokemon. So he's probably gonna hit my Evelco. But um So I'm gonna have to use my heal. Sixty or less my Pokemon's not yeah. Hmm. I wanna just save uh my heal for Yeah, I'll save my heal for my Evolto. So I can hit him for 60 damage, is the most I can do right now. He has rough seas, so that only did 30 damage. 
So next turn you can fully heal. Now I might have to start using Xerneas as my wall. So I just need to start piling uh, stuff onto Yvonne. So I failed that. So all I can really do is put a Diancy down and a Swirlix. And what I'm going to do is leave it at that for now. I have another uh, Xerneas I can put down. I'm probably going to just like get rid of a Spitzy. Um, if he knocks my Xerneas out. So he's fully healed now on Simurat. So he's just like stalling it out for me right now, which is weird. So, right now, I'm probably going to just Geomancy, pop that off, pop that off. So I'm going to use my Diancy instead of um, that Spitz idea. So now, if he sees what I'm doing, he's probably going to try to hit me harder. If I use my Pokemon Central Lady now on uh, Xerneas, like, I probably would have got away with doing another. One, or I can get away with doing it now. He's knocked out, isn't he? Yeah. So now I can set the antsy up. It's my wall. Yeah, I'll set the antsy up as my wall and then just stalemate him from attacking me. Oh. Uh, put him down. Sparkle. So now he has to roll uh, flip ahead of tails to attack me. And he has a lucky helmet. So whenever Samurai said he draws two carrots, so if I want to really limit him, I'll have to like TKO him so he can't attack me. So thank goodness. Got Tierno. Give me energies. I got one dark energy, which is exactly what I needed. Um, I'm gonna Evo Soda. My Spritzy. Doesn't matter which, so I'll just pick that one. Then I can Evo Soda again. And I'll pick Slurpuff. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sparkle him again. See if I can get more energy on Yveltas. So I can one shot him. He's gone, so I can play my Volta now. Perfect, I got an energy. I can heal my Volta. So I can hit him for 100 damage, but it'll get negated. Uh, 30 damage. Oh, actually, what? I hit him 160, okay. So he's knocked out. I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so he has fish now. That's all he has. So, I don't know if he's going to get anywhere. But that's all I need to do, really. He's getting serious and evolving his Dugong. That takes a lot to just use Aurora Beam. So, he's just going for a Magic Carp of all... Yeah. Gyarados, so he needs one more energy, but I'm going to be able to one-shot him. Another energy. So, basically, the one shot start, here we go, 160, game's gonna be over very shortly.
another energy. So he has the option to opt out right now of the duel, but he's still going. I like it. Very persistent. So your deck for card that evolves from one of your Pokemon. So melodic. And can search for any three cards and put them into your hand. So that's very opportune for him right now. If he has like discards, and he can search for anything he needs to right now. He can search for heals, he can search for anything. So we'll just see what he does. I don't know if it reveals what he picks. He's just searching. It's gonna take him a bit. But um, once he's done searching, I can knock Melodic out and then knock Dugong out. So yeah, it doesn't show me him what he drew. So now I'll get a Dark Energy on there. And then I'll do that. Also, I'll just chuck the energy thing on him, just in case he does get K TKO'd. So, 160. And I need one more prize card. I got a tier now, so I get to draw three more. My next phase. Do do. So he can paralyze me this turn, so that's actually pretty smart. But the paralyzation didn't work, so... I am Seabiscuit No Breaks on, I got my double colorless energy, I got draw a card, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm drawing more cards, more energy, and it just shows him that he has nothing at his disposal anymore. And with that, I got 15 uh, or 25 tokens. So, yeah. Thank you for watching uh, two duels, even though the first one was very short and like, it was like three minutes. Um, and the second one, pretty long, and it's what I wanted. Thank you. It's a long video. <laughs> Hope you enjoy.